Okay, hello. Welcome back to uh, the, what's it called? The Joy of the Joy of Painting with Bob Ross and Andy Field. I'm Andy Field and I'm looking forward to doing a painting. Um, he's just finished the opening credits. I'm just watching him there with an ear bit in. And uh, today we're going to be doing a, a lake, like a, a quiet lake, apparently. Um, I've got this with paint on it. Uh, I've got several brushes and a canvas. I think I've got everything I need, except the, the, the focus and skill. Oh, we started. Okay, right. We're getting some crimson. And we're just going to kind of vibe it around a bit. Um, hang on. These brushes are a bit kind of hard from um, not being cleaned well. <laughs> Which is, uh, you know, unfair really, because it's kind of nerdy to clean things properly, isn't it? Really. This is generally the vibe of what he's doing at the minute. Just kind of getting some patches of this stuff on there and just kind of getting it involved. So I'm assuming this will become Sky. Um, and oh, he's just got some blue involved, which sounds sensible. So I'm going to get some blue involved. Without cleaning the brush, apparently, you just get some blue in there. This blue's too dark, isn't it? Oh, oh well. So there's some blue in there as well. And you just get some blue and some, I think it's cr supposed to be crimson, this other colour. And you just sort of paint them next to each other, a bit like that. And that's generally what he's done, so I don't feel embarrassed so far. Uh, it's, it's his fault if, if this looks weird. Oh, with some water as well. A bit of water. Sure, sounds like a good idea. So just kind of like that, we make, and that's supposed to be water. So it's the exact same colour as the sky, and that's because I think he's got kind of two different blues, and I don't, just got the one blue. So that's where we are. Oh, he's cleaned his brush. I'm also going to clean my brush. I've got some paint thinner, and then a bucket for just beating the shit out of it. <laughs> And that is why there's paint on my shirt. And that, I don't think that's really worked. But now we're just kind of, kind of, supposed to like blend. Oh, I'm just spreading the blue over the, I'm just gonna get a different brush. That's probably easier. I think we're just supposed to gently blend this. So just gently blend in it. It mostly feels like I'm just painting the blue over the, the pink. But, um, you know, Maybe that's what we're supposed to do, who knows. Okay. That's sort of right. What's he doing? Okay, we're getting some brown. I think we're doing trees, which is exciting. I love a tree. Um, okay, so we've got some brown and also some sort of a hair. So we don't want that, we just want the brown. And we're just kind of, just kind of doing this. I feel like this brown's just mixing with the blue and becoming sort of a brown. This, that is, that doesn't look at all like what he's done. Hold on, so let's try, try it from a different angle. Maybe get some more brown involved. And then, kind of like this is what he's doing. This doesn't feel right, but then does anything involved in this whole process feel right? I'm just, I was hoping that making this would instill in me a love and appreciation of, of the art, of, of art, of painting. But I, f oh, I don't like it at all. It's fucking bullshit. Uh, 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 uh. You're just supposed to like incessantly try really hard until you develop skills. And it's like, can I not just be immediately good at this? This is bullshit. And if you're wondering now, I can't play any instruments. Oh, he's covering a lot more ground with his kind of blue, with a brown kind of brownness. He's just covering this whole bit in brown. Seems to be the general vibe. I just don't know how he's getting that much paint. Oh, that's, that's actually what he's doing and that does look better. But see, it's just sort of blue-brown now, isn't it? It's not brown-brown. Brown. 
Okay. So yeah, what you want to do, just to recap, is paint a bit of it kind of red, paint a bit, a bit of it kind of blue, and then just like smear brown paint all over everything. And that's, so this is supposed to kind of be trees, representative of trees. So you can sort of see that, that might be trees in, in, a, in a certain world. And now we're kind of doing this. Just, so that's kind of like the, the earth at the edge. I'm just going to get some more brown because as, as, uh, it's happened again. You know, it's just become kind of blue. So that's, oh, that's more like brown, isn't it? Yeah. And he's done it on this side as well. Kind of like that. Oh, he says he's thinned the paint that he's about to use with paint thinner, which I haven't done because we would have predicted that that needed to happen. So our paint's going to be marginally thicker than, uh, than that. So now he wants me to sort of draw kind of branches in the, in the paint uh, to sort of represent, I assume, kind of where, where the, the trees are. So like, a bit like, oh, that's too thick. That's not a very thin brush at all, is it? Let's use one of these knife things. Is that what he's using? I can't tell. I'm gonna use one of these knife things to try and get a, a line. No, that's bad as well. All right, thin paintbrush, thin paintbrush. This is a thin paintbrush. I bought a job lot of paintbrushes from Hobbycraft for like five quid and uh, I haven't been using them because they're obviously, you know, ba really bad and they don't uh, do the job at all. Yeah, and y you know, yeah, again, that's... So these are, this is trees. Just getting some trees. And then that's a tree. Maybe this is a tree here with a branch. And then, you know, so just gradually drawing lines on shit, making it look worse. Um, you know, that sort of thing. So there we, yeah, that's some trees, defo tree-esque. Oh, and now he's putting some sort of yellow on it to give him like foliage, so that sounds fun. I have three different yellows and I don't know which one's really which, so uh, let's hope it's whatever one I've just picked. And then we're just going to put some foliage in the, in the trees, make them a bit more yellow. Uh, I'm concerned that that's also not really showing up at all. It's all just becoming this kind of brown mess, which is, you know, reminiscent of every other painting I've done. So I'm uncertain as to what exactly you're supposed to do to avoid that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to plough on as if I'm not doing it wrong and hope that eventually it just comes together just uh, on its own without any need. I should probably cover the, the sky beneath the earth because that's that's going to fuck up your perspective, isn't it? You know, that's this is probably supposed to all be... Earth. So there we go. You'll notice as well my, my easel moves a lot. That's because it's bad. I bought a really cheap easel because um, I didn't really want... There's already a lot of outlay involved in this. I'm not sure how long I can keep it up for to be honest. I mean the, the, the canvas is a five pound a pot um, and then you know that's not even without thinking about the Thinking about the paint, the paint's expensive as well. My girlfriend did a painting the other day because she was like, oh, you're doing paintings, I'll do paintings. Just use so much paint. I was just watching money disappear down the drain. Not that I'm annoyed. No, it's really good. Good. Got to be creative. Got to get up to fun shit, haven't you? Otherwise, what's left to do? Just crying? That's my mornings. What about my afternoons, you know? Got to fill the time. This is less shit than I thought it was, actually, but it's still, you know. Yeah, I mean, my problem, I've said it before, is I'm constantly comparing what I'm doing with what he's doing. And what he's doing is creating an almost photorealistic, um, uh, you know, landscape painting. And what I'm doing is just, just fucking about. Wow, what he's done looks... Okay, so on his one, there's no... There's no white anymore. He's sort of got the earth coming up to the, the water. So I'm going to just fill in these white bits just because uh, otherwise it will look wrong. So we're filling in the white 
gaps that we've left around the watery bit. Just, uh, just generally hitting it with a brush with paint on. Haven't been thinking that much about what this colour might be. It's just getting paint on the canvas because at the end of the day, if there's paint all over the canvas, you must have done a painting, you know? That's, I think it's, you just, you're finished when it's full of paint, as far as I can tell. Yeah, yeah, getting there. Oh, I've missed what he's doing. Well, the thing is, what he's doing right now is kind of like intricate details um, around this sort of stuff. But this stuff is so vague in my painting that I don't know if it's necessary. It's not far away from what he's done, to be honest. Um, uh, this is much better than when I did a barn last week and wanted to just give up everything. Oh, he's doing more tree branches. See, I'm not good. My brush isn't good enough for that. That isn't uh, isn't something I'm set up for, really. I might just try using the very edge of this brush just to... Oh, shut up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, now we might actually be talking, actually. 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 Oh. Hello. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's not gone as badly as I thought it might do. So that's, that's encouraging. I think I might have learned how to do small brown lines. So, making big progress today. All right, he's mixing lots of sort of yellows together. Um, and he's, so here's some yellow, here's another yellow, here's another yellow. Let's mix these together. Yep, yeah, just kind of a different yellow. That's to be expected, I suppose. And then, and we're just kind of gonna make it a bit clearer where the, the line is between kind of like the forest and then the, I suppose, is it a glade? Maybe it is. Oh, wisdom. He says you have to have a little sadness in your life so that you know when you had a happy time. So um, yeah, that's, that's relevant for right now because I'm not enjoying painting at all. No, no, oh, come on. I keep having to remind myself to be positive because this is a fun thing. I'm trying to make a, a relatively entertaining show. Although I think I might be being held back by my uh, sort of disregard for whether this is watchable or doable because in my book, it's just about doing something. Just as long as you're doing something, you know, this gets me present on Twitch and it gives me something to share every week. And effectively, it's very little effort if you think about how much effort it would be comparatively to, I don't know, like think of a sketch every week and release that instead. This writes itself. Try and do a painting. Don't do it very well. Ramble through. The 30 minute version is almost impossible to watch, but you can trim together two minutes any day. Um, and then, you know, at least you're just doing something. And then when your agent's like, Have you, are you making any efforts to progress your career? You can be like, have you not seen my paintings? I'm doing my best, you know? So that's generally the plan. Is anyone watching? Four people? Fuck it hell, it's usually three. My dad must have caved. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Right, This he's doing a sort of a bluish thing. And I've got this brush that's kind of dirty and already covered in blue, so I'm just going to add that in there. And we're just kind of dragging this down, apparently, just to kind of smooth it out. Okay. Oh, and we're getting some white involved. That's a bit of fun. I love a bit of white. I am white. So, <laughs> don't know what that means. And then we're just getting some white on it. Love a bit of white. White, white, white. Just uh, sort of getting white involved. And then kind of smoothing it. So it looks a bit like, uh, looks a bit, yeah, that's not, that's not very far away. 
I think I'm done. How much longer have we got left? Ah, 11 more minutes to go. I don't know how we're going to improve on this, but all right, we'll give it a punt. He's getting some green involved now. So, I'm, oh no, this brush has already got blue on it. I'm going to use a different brush. This brush hasn't been used. Yeah, my approach is to just make every brush that I own dirty before cleaning any of them. Um, so I'd recommend that because it's just a bit fun, isn't it? Deal with the consequences later. So we've got a bit of green and we're going to kind of involve that just in the general area. Just make it look a bit grassy. I'd assume that's what it's for. Just a bit of grass. Everyone likes grass. Here we go. Ah, what a treat. What a bloody treat. Sick. This is going well. Ooh. Okay, so he's kind of like making a really clear outline of like where where the kind of the land is and where the the water is. But I feel like it's pretty clear. The blue bit's where the water is, isn't it? You know, you can tell that immediately. Blue, that's probably water. What's that to be confused about? All right. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that. He's just sort of going around the edge trying to make it... Uh, stand out a bit more so whoop, maybe I'll do that I've got some brown on this one um, I'm just gonna kind of go around the go around the edge of the lake just kind of being like there it is you know mark that out what a treat what a treat having a lovely time if anything, this this show might be one of the least watchable yet because I'm not I'm not particularly stressed out. I'm just just quietly doing a painting. Um, you know, sort of thought of this idea as in, oh, that'd be funny because I'll just collapse every time. But maybe I'm getting too comfortable. Maybe I'm just just slowly doing a painting. What's he doing now? Just sort of vibing. I'm with you. Oh, he's done a bit of land like across the front of that because he's kind of, because it's a lake, isn't it? And you've got to have the edge of the lake, I suppose. So that makes sense. So I'll give that a punt. So we're just going to kind of cover it up here. I always have to remember to paint this bit here and this bit here because um, the easel just covers it up a bit and I always try and leave it. And a few of my paintings have just got white gaps at the top and bottom, um, which probably uh, would... Uh, be frowned upon if you were trying to sell a painting or uh, claiming to be, you know, capable of doing them. Um, probably would be uh, not approved, particularly. Yeah, that's basically dead on. That is dead, dead on. I'm tempted to just wait, just uh, stop and just look at the painting with you for the rest of the time. Yeah. Now we're talking. It's a quiet lake. Three viewers. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, it's just kind of involving brushes and, and bushes and things. So there's a bush here. Um. I think the problem is I often don't have a lot to do because a lot of what he does is kind of like, yeah, just, just firming up the details. But I'm not a details man, you know? I'm a, I'm a man who, who thrives in vagaries, just, just the least. That's why I couldn't do the barn, you know? Because the barn was just straight lines and like a human object. So you know what a barn's supposed to look like. But with a tree, yeah, arguably that's a tree. Maybe it's a bush, you know? There's a vagary involved in, in this... Uh, natural stuff and I'm a big fan of that you know that gives me space to thrive without being capable you know and if anything that's what I've always been looking for in life is a is a space where I can be the best I can be be loved be successful but never really have to exert any kind of um, effort that's 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 what I'm looking for in life oh he's doing something else now oh we're doing a big tree you're joking you are, that's a large one. Okay, okay, sure. 
I'm with you, mate. I've worked out these brown lines, so the the world's my oyster at this point. So we're gonna have a tree going kind of like this, like this way. Maybe he's gonna turn at the top here. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. That's a tree. Cool. All right, done. He's doing it very slowly, very meticulously, obviously. He's, he's putting love and, and time into it, but I feel like that's basically a tree, isn't it? That's a long stick. Uh, probably at some point we will add to this, I assume. Yeah. Great. Oh, he's got another one coming off. Okay. There we go. Hey. Really satisfied with my brown lines today. That's, that's where I'm flourishing. So I had a Coca-Cola just before, just before this. <coughs> yeah, it's just kind of making his lines a bit thicker. But because I've just used this terrible brush, mine are already really thick. Oh, it's got a branch. Okay. Let's get a branch. He says he calls uh, these arms instead of branches because trees are his friends. And he goes out and talks to them sometimes. And at no point anyone thought to sort of <clears throat> check if Bob was okay, you know? Like, what's he doing now? He's probably a fucking millionaire considering how much his paints cost. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, it's not far off what he's doing. Sure, another branch here. Love a branch. Excellent. Smash the shit out of that. Next! Come on, Bob. Speed up. Speed up. I've smashed this bit. Oh, a bit of a base. Yeah, sure. So that's the bottom of the tree. Are we saying put as many limbs and just go out there and have fun? So, all right. He says you can just spend all your time making limbs. So, that is good to know, I suppose. I'm enjoying this painting. I, honestly, I wouldn't watch this, though. I don't think this is... I don't think this is for watching. But then, I don't think a lot of the stuff that people watch on the internet is really for watching. I, I guess this is the sort of show that you make if you don't get it, you know? If you're like, oh, I should be present on the internet, and then you just do something that's like, you know, not, not quite right. You know, I, this is just sort of boomer streaming, I suppose. Just uh, just someone working out how their emails work. This is the equivalent of that in kind of a Twitch, Twitch format. Video games? Oh no! Oil painting. That's what the kids will like, oil painting. Here you go, kids. <laughs> so you just, just do a brown line. <laughs> We're having a good time. Yeah, he's adding kind of like a redness to the tree to kind of make the tree stand out more. But I mean, I don't know if I can make this tree stand out anymore. I'm fucking pleased with it. Uh, you know, it, it, relatively speaking, it's, it might be one of the best trees I've ever done. And if you, if you don't believe me, you could check out YouTube and put all of the other ones up there. And it is a really atrocious standard of painting. Really problematic. I've sort of lost sight of this branch here. I swear there was a branch there. Let's get some more brown involved. Just kind of bring that out a bit more. There we go. And then just a bit like that. Yeah, that's a tree. Putting blue on it. Oh, it's trying to make it seem like it's got a shadow. All right, maybe I'll try that. So it's going to give the tree limb depth, apparently. So just on one side of it, I'm just going to do some, some black or sort of blue. This is more blue. Uh, and then this seems like it's got depth. So that's, that's the aim of this bit, to give the, the limbs depth. There you go. Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Shoot. Okay. 
I shouldn't have been so critical of him when he was doing other stuff. Because maybe it's all for a reason. It's hard to tell. Alright, we're putting more limbs around in this area apparently, just to give have a bit more going on. Don't know why we didn't do this earlier, but you know. I'm not complaining. We're having a good time. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. <coughs> so, so gassy. Du, du, du. Um, maybe I'll just add something of my own in here, you know. I just I worry that I'm just kind of passing. Maybe I'm in the picture. Yeah, this is a self-portrait, maybe. What sort of a skin colour? Uh, I don't know. Blue. So here I am. Here I am, baby. Sounds here delivered atmosphere. There I am. And I'm quite tall. So my legs are about here. There we go. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the, uh, the camera turns off after half an hour and I've been dicking about too much. Anyway, the show's actually finished now, which is great. So, um, here we go, I'll just sign it. Um, Andy. Thanks very much, guys. We're done.